Get in, losers. We're going for a ride. Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we all float down here. I'm your host, E, and today we'll be clowning around. It is what it is. But first, I have promises to keep. This comment is only about four years old, but I think it's time to show it off. The first copy I have is this paperback. It's a pretty boring cover, but I like it anyway, even though Pennywise is more of a mime in this one. Then we have the movie tie-in cover from the 2017, 2016 version of the reboot. And we have another version of this. Uh, this one was sent to me by my friend Sarah, by the way. I can't forget, to tell you. and this is the 2017 uh, reboot. But yeah, there's the, uh, this the trade, and this is the mass market paperback. I believe this Joker's 1,400 pages. It's nuts. Then we have the first edition paperback. Uh, this is the one that I have read the most. If you don't know, I have read It by Stephen King 18 times. Um, and this one accounted for probably, you can see the bow in the, in the spine. This one accounted for probably 15 of those. Uh, used to be on my nightstand. As soon as I stopped reading, as soon as I finished the book, I would just start it all back over again. Now on to some international editions. My buddy Richard sent me this one, which is the Chinese edition of it. And then my buddy Kobe, Kobe, sorry, K-O-B-E, sent me the Dutch version of it. This one's probably the closest to the original American artwork, I think. Yeah, it. And the last international edition was sent to me by my friend Wayne Fenlon, amazing dude. Um, I had been looking for this one for ages, and he just sent it to me free of charge. And I will always, this is also my favorite cover uh, of this novel. I um, mean, he sent it to me free of charge, didn't ask for anything in return. One of the best gifts I've ever gotten, and that is the UK edition of it. Yeah, just look at it, look at it, look, 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 oh my god! Next up, we have an edition uh, that I started reading after I stopped reading this one for fear that it was going to fall apart because these first edition paperbacks are kind of hard to find. Um, I went ahead and I bought this one. This is the re-release that came out just before the 2017 reboot, and this one's heavy. And I also have the cover. I have read this one at least three times, and you can see the spine is just <laughs> disgusting. And last, but certainly not least, I have not one, but two first edition copies of it. Uh, this one over here uh, has a... I, it's a much better condition, but the reason why it's so much drabber and duller is because I had to have this printed, because I found this in great condition without the dust jacket. And then this one is the one that I've had the longest. I haven't had it since release date. All of my Stephen King books, my mother's Stephen King books, got lost in a hurricane in 95. Um, but I did find this one. It is a first edition. It's got the price code up here and everything. Uh, $22.95. It is in terrible condition, but I love it all the same. Anyways, on to the rest of the video. I know that took a while, but thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new around here, a word of warning before we continue. I will be discussing all of Stephen King's books in detail with spoilers throughout this entire series. So if you have not read all of his works, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. If it, if it isn't obvious to you already, today we're talking about Stephen King's It, my favorite novel of all time. Not just my favorite Stephen King book, but my favorite novel of all time. First things first, I want to read you guys an excerpt from It. Tell your friends I am the last of a dying race, it said, grinning its sunken grin as it staggered and lurched down the porch after her. The only survivor of a dying planet. So that excerpt is important because that is how I tie in all of these books to the Tommyknockers, Dreamcatcher, The Stand, all those things, uh, even the books that technically do not connect, that I have a theory that they connect, like Carrie, uh, The Shining, so on and so forth. The most important aspect here is in the opening chapter of It, after the flood, 
Pennywise introduces himself to Georgie Denbro as Pennywise the Dancing Clown or Bob Gray or Mr. A or Mr. Gray. This is important because the Tommyknockers and the and in Dreamcatcher, the aliens are called Greys. There is also the short story Gray Matter from Night Shift that deals with an alien shape-shifting presence in a little boy's house. Now, as far as a hard tie-in to the Dark Tower series, we have Maturin, or he's also known as Gan, who's the turtle on which the world the the world rides on his back. There's also the path of the beam, the turtle beam. That is a hard connect. Not to mention and not to forget that Stephen King was was writing it and the wastelands at the same time and he says in the afterword of either it or the wastelands I'm not sure which that he was stuck on how to finish it and then lightning struck and he realized that everything tied together some references to other books that put this directly into the king universe and ties all that together is Dick Holleran was a cook at the black spot also, Belch Higgins, after Belch dies, he shows up to pick up Henry Bowers in none other than a 1958 Plymouth Christine. Another note that ties it into Dreamcatcher is the obvious connection that Pennywise Lives is spray painted on the loading dock of Tracker Brothers in Derry. And many thanks to Silent Silo987 for this comment tying under the dome into it. You can pause to read. But wait, there's even more. We have this comment from Draw Your Sword 420. <laughs> I like the name. Again, you can pause to read. I definitely gel with the concept that Ardelia Lortz from the Library Policeman is a creature just like Pennywise and the Outsider, so on and so forth. We also can't forget that both Bev and Richie were in 1122-63. As pointed out by Valperga Literature Review 9602. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Anyways, here, here's a comment. I probably already put it up there, but... Next, we have Chris187, who said this. And while that poem is, uh, is all over the place, even outside of Stephen King's work, I still think it's important to highlight this comment. Thanks, Chris. And going back to Richie, we have this comment from Rickalicious92. And it says, I do not remember this, but if it's true, very cool. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything this time. But if I did, feel free to tell me about it down there in the comments. If I miss something, if you need to correct something, if you have your own theories, please leave them down there in the comment section. But until next time... Beat, beat, Richie!